it's another week here um, has come and gone. Um, there was a Facebook post, not on my page, but um, one that Dr. Kerry Madra shared on um, his YouTube and on his Facebook and on his social media about a school in the United States that is allowing special needs children to go to school five days a week. I cannot think of a better reason why not to let the special education children go to school. One of the mothers commented that they won't go far, so why five days a week for them? Well, I will tell you why five days a week for them. Because in my sophomore year of high school, I uh, it was two weeks before September 11, 2001. In the course of the first few months, we had September 11th happened the second week. The third, it was like the second and a half week. But it was September 11th happened. As we know, that's a worldwide event. A lot of change, a lot of things happened. Uh, two days later, a bomb scale was called into the school. We had to evacuate at the end of the day, go to the junior high school. A couple weeks later, a pipe burst, a heating system issue uh, malfunctioned part of the building. We had to be separated for part of the day. There were other issues. A power pole on the nearby road hit, and we had to be sent home early in the morning. First class, second class, I don't remember exactly. Um, Another issue hit where the pipe, they busted a pipe. A pipe busted outside of the school, not allowing water to be into the school. And of course, without water, you can't have a school run. So, uh, school was canceled that day. So, all these changes in the course of a year. And it's just within these minor things. And I know we're going to say the coronavirus is, you know, it's scary. And I wouldn't want to be schooled then. But if, you know... I don't know, it's just something different, um, being in this coronavirus business and not being able to get out of your little shell. And I feel bad for these individuals with autism or any special need, um, because you're just trapped in their little box all day, and if they have to go to school, it's on a tablet or on a device that the school provides in most cases, and it's not adequate. It's just not, and um, it's just not adequate for their needs, and they can't learn the way that they need to learn. We are all wired differently in the autism community. Every person with autism is wired differently. Um, I'm wired way differently than somebody else, and two other people may be wired different from them. But, um, you know, it's just, you know, it's just something we have to learn and have to embrace, and hopefully, you, you know, it's a lot of bickering about who gets to go to school right now and how it's, you know, how things are divided and how, you know, how, how the classrooms are set up and how social distancing is going to occur. Um, you know, it's a lot of unknowns, you know. What, is, what if you know, somebody gets infected? What if, you know, what if we have to quarantine? What if they have to quarantine? What if they have to test? You know, you know, it's, you know, and then they say, you know, in this post, back to this post, they say, well, you know, the children won't go far. We go far. We go places you've never dreamed of. Let me tell you that right now. Uh, I have an associate's degree. I also have a technical degree. And I have I have a job that I love for 10 years. And, you know, if you're say I'm going to sit in this room all day and just blog or just um, sit in bed or do nothing all day, then, then you got another thing coming because, you know, we go far. Um, yeah, we can be distanced. Yeah, our classes are smaller, but we go far, and we we have and we have some amazing teachers that rock. Um, you know, there's some dedicated troopers out there that educate these students every day, and kudos to them because they are the lifesavers of the world. Um, you know, you just gotta be thankful for them too because, you know, it's just it's amazing. It, what what creative ways everybody's coming together and learning how to uh, educate the world and it's scary but it's scary we have to come into these times but it's a necessary evil and I guess it's the new normal I guess we would call it the new normal but um, yeah it's just it's just different but you know I, I would like every student to have the same opportunities as everybody else but it's so difficult because of so many factors, technology, or anything like that. So, you know, we'll just see how it goes.